pictured for the first time, the man at the centre of the slavery investigation, Comrade Bala, as he was known, Aravindan Balakrishnan, now on police bail, the leader of the far-left commune pictured with some of the women who lived with him. You're part of the fascist state, and if you don't stop harassing us, we call the open fascist state on you. This is Josephine Herivel, also filmed in 1997 at the commune's house. ITV News believes she is the 57-year-old rescued from the house in Brixton last month. The other woman with the glasses believed to be Aisha, the Malaysian woman rescued. When they were filmed, it was after the inquest of commune member Sean Davis, who died in what the coroner called mysterious circumstances after falling from the window of the house where they all lived. Why did you tell Sean's mother she was in India when she was dying in a London hospital? Sean Davis's family have always had questions about her death, but now they have new ones, because the third woman rescued from the house, 30-year-old Rose, they believe could possibly be Sean's daughter. You can see there with the eyes, and certainly with the mouth, you can definitely see some physical resemblance. Um, so I would think it, it is a possibility that it could be Sean's, um, you know, daughter. It certainly would be emotional, um, but it be, would be very worthwhile because she would be a member, of, she is potentially a member of the family. Would you be prepared to give DNA to see whether she is related? I would be and so would my brother be. The police still haven't interviewed the victims, but the group's leader, Comrade Bala, and his wife, Comrade Chandra, believed to be in the wheelchair, small in stature, yet appeared to have enormous hold over the women. Lucy Manning, ITV News.